Hello, welcome to Annoying Sheep Beauty channel. Summer is officially here and today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial using a few products from my brand called Hourglass. Their products are really lightweight so it's perfect in the summer heat. The look I'm doing today is really natural and easy to do for hanging out at the beach, pool, or at a party with friends. Let's get started. For the skin, I'm first going to use Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. It's mineral based and water resistant with an SPF of 15. It has a lightweight, silky texture that first shows up white. It looks like that, but then as you blend it in, it goes on clear. And I'm just going to use my Sephora 56 brush to apply it all over the face. This primer is supposed to absorb excess oil while minimizing the look of pores and I had bought the 0.33 ounce size to first try it out. There is a full size 1 ounce bottle of it but it costs $52 and this one only costs $18 so it's a great size to you know try out the product and see if it works for you and it's also great to travel with so definitely check it out. In the summer, I don't like to wear heavy foundation because I feel like it's going to wear off in the warm weather. So instead, I like to use tints and moisturizers because it gives me light coverage but it doesn't feel heavy. So today, I'm using Jouer Luminizing Moisture Tint in the color Pearl and I'm using the same brush to apply it all over my face. For my concealer, today I'm using Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage in the shade SC2. It has two shades, one to match the skin depth of color and the other to match the skin undertone. And you basically blend the two shades to match perfectly to your skin to cover up any discoloration on your face and to cover up the dark circles under your eyes. So for the face, I like to use a small concealer brush. This is Trish McAvoy number 44 and I just pick up both shades on my brush and I like to warm it on the back of my hand so it's easier to blend and then I just apply it directly on areas that I want to conceal and then pat it in with my finger. Then for under my eyes I like to use my ring finger to apply the peachy shade. This is going to cancel out the dark circles slightly panning it in and the warmth of my finger is going to help blend it a lot easier. Then I use my ring finger again to apply the other shade to help brighten the under eye area and to match the overall skin tone. To set the concealers, I'm going to use Laura Mercier Mineral Finishing Powder in Translucent with my Smashbox number 10 brush and just slightly dust over only the areas that I use concealer. Recently I've been bombing some new products to use on my brows. These are by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have the Brow Powder Duo, the Brow is Pencil, and a Tinted Brow Gel. They come in so many shades to match any hair color and depending on the look I want for my brows, either really natural or fuller looking, I either use all the products together or mix and match. And so today I'm just going to use the Brow Wiz Pencil and the Tinted Brow Gel. For the Brow Wiz, it has the pencil on one end and the spoolie brush on the other. And I really like this applicator brush because I first just brush the hairs down. So I see all the gaps that I need to fill in and I take the pencil and just lightly feather it in just where I need to have a little bit of color and definition and it also helps to extend the brow at the ends because it has a very thin fine pencil lid. Just draw light strokes. The color I'm using is medium ash and I really like this shade because it's a brown but it's not a reddish brown. It has a bit of gray in it so it goes well with my black hair. Once I fill them in, I take the spoolie brush and brush the hairs upwards. This is going to help blend in the color. Then I'm going to use the tinted brow gel in the color espresso and brush them through to keep the brows in place. And I like a tinted brow gel because it's great for days when you're in a rush and you don't have time to fill them in. But because it has a little bit of color, it will help to add a little bit of definition to your brows while keeping them well groomed. 
For the eyes, I'm first going to start with MAC Wedge Eyeshadow. It's a matte medium taupe, and I'm going to use my MAC 224 brush to sweep it across the socket of the crease for a light definition. I'm going to sweep it under the eye as well. Next, I'm going to use Hourglass Visionaire Eyeshadow Duo in Suede. The first color I'm going to use is the Shimmery Beige Taupe color with my Shirt Ramula number 10 brush. And I'm just going to pat this all over the lid. Sweeping it into the crease. I'm also going to use the tip of the brush to sweep it under the lash line. Then I'm going to use the Shimmery Ivory Cream color with the same brush to highlight the inner corner. For eyeliner, I'm going to use Bobbi Brown Longwear Gel Eyeliner in Black Ink with my MAC 231 brush to first line the top waterline. Then I'm going to draw a thin to medium line on the top lash line with a slight flick at the ends just to elongate the eye a bit. On the bottom waterline, I'm going to use Makeup Forever Champagne 23L Aqua Eyes Pencil and these are great for the summer because they are waterproof and so they're going to last all day and this color is going to help brighten and open up the eyes. I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara off camera. I suggest using waterproof mascara in the summer because you don't want it to smudge off in the heat or if you're swimming. I'm also going to apply false lashes. Of course these are optional but today I'm using Ardell Fashion Lashes in Wispies Black. I like these because they give a natural feathery look. So I'm going to put these on and then I'll move on to cheeks and lips. On the cheeks, I'm first going to apply Hourglass Aura Sheer Cheek Stain in the color Rouge. It's a sheer reddish wine color. These are water-based cheek stains, so they have a sheer wash of color, which looks really natural on the cheeks. And they're really easy to apply. On the bottom, there's a twisting mechanism, and you just twist it a few times, and you hear a clicking sound. Like that. And the product dispenses out at the top. And you just dab it onto your apples on, the, on your cheeks, just like so. And then just use my fingers to blend in a circular motion outwards onto near the hairline. And I like to apply these either over bare skin or over foundation or tint and moisturizer because it helps to blend in the product a lot easier. And it just mimics a natural rosy glow on the cheeks. Next I'm going to use Hourglass Illume Cream to Powder Bronzer Duo in Bronze Light. It comes with a golden champagne highlighter and a bronzer. These are wax free and oil free and really easy to apply. So first I'm going to use the champagne highlighter just with my fingers picking up the product like that and then I'm just going to tap and blend onto my cheekbones. This is also going to help blend in the cheek stain blush to kind of soften the edges. I'm also going to apply under my eyebrow as a brow bone highlight. I'm also going to apply on the bridge of my nose and the cupid's bow of my lip. Then I'm going to use my MAC 168 brush to dab it into the bronzer, just like so. And then dab off any excess product on the back of my hand. And I'm going to apply this right under my cheekbones for subtle definition contouring and to give my skin a subtle bronzy glow. Just kind of buffing it in. I'm just going to apply it on the temples of my forehead on the nose and chin. Because these are cream to powder formulas, they're going to last all day, so they're great for the summer. For the lips, I'm first going to outline and fill them in using Trish McAvoy Lip Liner in Bare. It's a beigey pink nude color.
Over the lip pencil, I'm going to use Hourglass Femme Rouge Velvet Creme Lipstick in the color Whisper. It's a light, shimmery, pinky beige color, and I'm just going to apply it all over the lips. That's it for the look. I hope you like it. Let me know what your favorite products are for the summer in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye-bye.